have moved on Washington into the final. Who will they face, the Atlanta Beat or the Carolina Courage? We find out now. Here's the starting lineup for Atlanta. Nikki Shalenka has emerged as Atlanta's leader. She scored the game-winning goal last week, propelling the Beat into the playoffs. Today, I'll be playing defensive center mid. Um, I will be trying to stop their attack and keep an eye on Hegaris and uh, switch the field for our team. For Carolina, Danielle Fotopoulos at 5'10". She uses contact to her advantage. She's been balanced this year with 11 goals and 10 assists. Today, I'll be playing forward for the Carolina Courage, and I'm going to be playing up top with Birgit, and we're going to try to hold the ball combined, uh, get around the awesome Atlanta defenders, and score some goals. Terrific crowd on hand here at Sass Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina. As it was in Philadelphia, very hot and humid here this afternoon. Temperatures above 90 degrees. And we are underway. Semi-final Saturday continues. This is Hege Risa. Fotopoulos. And the slide at three. The series between these two, Anson, has been very one-sided in favor of Carolina. But Atlanta did win the last meeting between these two teams in late July. Hooper, who scored the game-winning goal in that Atlanta victory. Nikki Serlenga lets it rip. She scored on a similar shot to that last week against Philadelphia. 92 degrees. Feels like 100 down there on the field. Overcast skies. The sun's peeking in and out. And Beth, this looks like uh, the 4-5-1 for Atlanta. They customarily play a 4-2-2-2, but this time they're going with the system that worked recently. And actually, Anson Tommy Stone gives an assist to Mark Krikorian in Philadelphia. Watched a lot of game tape. Philly defeated Carolina using a similar system all three times they played this year. He did. He studied it, and what he saw is that Philly was exploiting Carolina in flank midfield because they play with a four-man midfield, the Courage, but their flank midfielders are pinched in, so he's hoping to exploit the flank a bit against them because Philly did so well with that in their victories over Carolina this season. Mel Fedek taking the free kick. Looking for Tom for Metopolis just outside the area. Danielle whistled for the foul as Nonet went crashing to the turf. Danielle Fotopoulos and Birgit Prince have both scored a point in their last four games for Carolina. And they are two of the top three scorers in the WUSA this year. Very formidable up top. Risa looking for Prince. Brian Ascuri is there. And that's terrifying. No one runs by Geralta Nonan, and here's Birgit Prince with all of her size slicing through there like she's been shot out of a cannon. Leaping long and the hip check from Cooper. And of course, this is the Atlanta trademark. I mean, they play a physical style. And so, yes, they're going to bring that dimension to this game and see if they can physically intimidate Carolina. The last time these two teams met, Carolina was issued four yellow cards in the second half, and Tiffany Roberts was ejected late in the game. Well, of course, Tiffany Roberts can fight with anyone. She's not the biggest player in the park, but her heart is huge. We will be hearing from Tiffany from time to time. She's running the microphone for us today. Risa bumped off the ball by Nonan. Fans wanted a PK, none issued. Actually, that could have easily been a PK. The referee must have thought it was too early in the game to call it. But she was clearly whacked from behind. And the whacking is going all over the place early. <laughs> I mean, she's clearly hit from behind. You can see that the shove, although Reese is the master of the dive. And here's Sal again, similar challenge from behind. And of course, everyone's flying right now. You can feel the intensity up here in the booth. I believe the theme would be an eye for an eye. When somebody gets whacked, the other team has to whack right back. Uniman and Kyla.
Riley Bivens. Back to Julie Augustiniak. Looking for Cooper in front. Referees are very reluctant to have these kinds of games decided on penalty kicks. Although they have to make that decision if it warrants it. That's the way the rules are written. We saw a bump in the 90th minute in the first semifinal involving Abby Wambach in Philadelphia. No PK awarded. But that reflects uh, the intensity of these semifinal matches. Here is Roberts. She and Sawa will be spending a lot of time together in midfield. Risa, 2A player. Her teammates call her not only their MVP, but the league MVP for how well she distributes. And welcome to Cary, North Carolina. Beth Mullins along with former U.S. national head coach and current head coach of the University of North Carolina, Anson Dorrance. Semi-final number two, Anson. We were expecting physical play. We've seen it already. Well, yeah, they're flying all over the place already. Obviously, this match means everything to both teams. And now they're bringing their physicality to play. Carolina prepared for that because this is Atlanta. So that's what they're both bringing to the game right now. Risa. She'll get the restart here after the contact from Nikki Serlenga. No score in the sixth minute. Carolina looking to do what the Washington Freedom did earlier. Go from worst in the league last year into the Founders Cup. Remarkable turnarounds for these two teams. Into the area, Risa in the air, off the post! Great chance there for Carolina. The Atlanta beat is dodging bullets early. The possible penalty kick, that one off the crossbar. Sawada leaping Wang up to Hooper. He's knocked down by Baxter. More eye for an eye going on out there in the field. So much for kind of feeling out the opposition, seeing what they're going to do. And they're just knocking heads right away. Bivens switches to the near side. Too much pace for Wang. Today's excitement is presented to you by Hyundai. Here is Looking the service to Risa. You're going to see this in here off the bar. Unbelievable. Bivens earlier should have taken and penetrated with that ball. Tommy Stone wants him to penetrate the flank. She was in. She passed responsibility by changing the point. She should have taken it in herself just then. Risa. Stacy Burt pushing forward. Prince tried to chest it down. And Scurry is there. Tom Stone on the left, the head coach for Atlanta, Marsha McDermott. One of the leading candidates for Coach of the Year honors, thanks to the turnaround that she has instigated. And talking with Tiffany Roberts yesterday, she actually said, Marsha is probably our most ex the, most, ex the uh, most improved player in the organization for the changes that she made in the way she coached us, the off-season personnel moves that Marsha made to help get this team to where it is right now. And uh, TR and her teammates, a lot of praise for what Marsha has done and how well she has motivated this group. Well, she's completely reconstructed the team. She knew what she had to do if she wanted to compete in this league. All the pieces have fallen in place. Almost every decision she has made has paid off. From the foreign players she brought in, like Birgit Prince, to picking up Nell Fedick yep. in the waiver draft. Danielle Slayton is her first-round draft choice. Every move she's made has worked. <laughs> Cooper, nice to nod it over to Sawa, Roberts, Teresa. Some exceptional talent in the midfield for both these clubs. Well, handling a stonewall by Kwiatkowski. Tommy Stone 
gets a lot of credit, Anson, for making the move that he says turned their season around, and that was moving Nancy Augustiniak into a center back position. Over the last third of the season, this has been a completely different Atlanta team, offensively and defensively. Harlow tries to cross. Baxter is there. And a goal kick coming up. Today's game is brought to you by Hyundai. Every Hyundai is backed by the freedom of America's best warranty, the Hyundai Advantage. Freedom is calling. Answer it with Hyundai. By ActiveView brand contact lenses, advancing the science of sight. And by American Legacy Foundation. Join Legacy's circle of friends and help women unite to be smoke-free. Bethy talks about uh, three people. He talks certainly about Nancy, but he also says Nikki Serlinga's leadership and presence on the field has been huge for him in the last third of the season. Venus James, across Nancy Augustiniak, corner kick coming up. Yay! And the final piece was Brian Ascuri, and he attributes Melanie Wilson for inspiring Bry to play better. Here is Bry trying to fight for a spot on the full national team. Melanie Wilson comes in, has two outstanding wins, and now the issue is, am I going to play for my own team? <laughs> now this set piece, look here, here. Instead, they go short the Prince. Back to Risa. The cross. Nolan heads it out. O'Hanley kicks it back in. Of course, okay. Melanie Wilson, the backup goalkeeper that got in while Scurry was away with the national team. Let's take a look now at our AFLAC trivia question of the game. Who scored the only golden goal in WUSA history last year in the playoffs? <laughs> We are in the 12th minute now here at Sass Soccer Park. The winner advances to face Washington in the Founders Cup. Washington a 1-0 winner at Philadelphia. Monica Gerardo in the 80th minute. And Shiri Molinix was fantastic in goal for the Freedom. A bit surprised, Anson, that she is not up for Goalkeeper of the Year honors, especially after what she did today. Well, we've already discussed this. She got our vote. We can't believe she's not in it. Uh, we, in fact, you called her the Mullen X Factor in that game, and she was. A phenomenal turnaround by Washington this year, as well as Carolina. They had six wins a year ago. This year, 12 wins. First place in the league, from worst to first. Marisa, her cross, looking for Prince, got a head on it just wide. In between a couple of defenders. I hear Zag on the ball. Obviously, she's going to get this thing off. She has the sophistication to do it. But here's Birgit Prince in a crowd of three, just flicking it by the post. And uh, we have a special guest with us now up in the booth, the president and CEO of the WUSA, Lynn Morgan, joins us. And uh, first of all, Lynn, congratulations uh, on a successful year two. We've been talking, we can't believe it's not only the end of one season, but now the end of two seasons in the WUSA. And uh, a terrific story unfolding, the turnaround of Washington and Carolina. We could have the two teams that were in last place last year into the championship and here is lynn morgan uh, thank you very much for stopping by lynn thank you terrific job that we're seeing here playoffs number two well thanks beth and, and you're right you know i mean all of a sudden this, the second season is coming to an end and it's been such a great great season great play all year long and to see a team like carolina go from uh, uh worst to first it's just an incredible story the fans have been great all year as you can see here today and we're just delighted with what we've been able to do of course, uh, it will culminate next weekend. The Founders Cup number two will be in Atlanta. Uh, how excited are you? It's going to be uh, on the home turf, so to speak. The home offices of the WUSA are there, and everybody geared up for yeah. Founders Cup too. We're excited about that too, Beth. And obviously, uh, with uh, Washington's win today, I know the fans will be uh, very, very excited to have the chance to see Mia Hamm come into town. And um, Atlanta's been a great, great supportive soccer city, and uh, we're looking forward to a great Founders Cup. Of course, one of the other big things this year, the addition of an all-star game uh, that will be out in Portland. Uh, so opportunities 
not only during the season, but beyond that now for, for fans around the country to see the, the best that the WUSA has to offer. Right, and, and the, and the All-Star Game, September 21st in Portland, that's going to be a terrific opportunity for that market to really see what the WUSA is about and expose our product to more and more cities. So uh, that's going to be a terrific opportunity for these players to see some more action as well. 15th minute here in Cary, North Carolina. And, uh, I know Anson speaks with great pride about this facility here in particular. Uh, uh, one of the gems for soccer, not just in the WUSA, but, but nationwide, as the U.S. national team will be playing here in uh, October. Well, you know, Beth, one of the goals of this league, as we uh, started last year, was to really be a catalyst to develop some great soccer venues in the country, and this certainly is one of those. And uh, we've got several others throughout the uh, WUSA that we're very proud of. San Diego's got a tremendous facility, and we're going to continue to look for ways that we can bring bigger and better soccer venues uh, to all of our markets. Give us the uh, State of the Union, if you can, uh, as we get ready to close out year two. Well, you know, we've made some great progress this year, and I think on the field, the fans have certainly seen that. The level of play is incredible, and uh, in the competitive uh, balance of this league, is just tremendous. And I think off the field, as, as with any other business, we always look to our numbers and try to figure out how well we did. And we've shown tremendous progress there as well. We've got great support from our corporate sponsors. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the fans have been great. We're going to show uh, bottom line improvements, which as a CEO, I always love to see. And uh, so we feel very good about what we've been able to accomplish, and we're looking forward to, uh, to getting cranked up for two 2003 today. Well, Lynn, thank you very much. We appreciate you stopping by, and uh, we are all looking forward to a spectacular Founders Cup 2 next weekend at Herndon Stadium. Thanks, Beth. Center. And you and Anson do a great job for us, so keep it up, and uh, we'll see who's going to play Washington next week here pretty quickly. Thank you very much, Lynn. The president and CEO of the Women's United Soccer Association. Right now, Beth, the game is frantic. Both these teams are riding on an adrenaline of a must-win situation. The game hasn't settled down yet. Everything is just a bit too quick. The first team that can learn to play in a, a rhythm of slowing it down and then attacking explosively may break this thing open. Scurry with the boot. We were talking with Bry yesterday. She said she has found her passion for the game again in the last year or two following the 99 World Cup and uh, had to work her way back into shape, back into position to get on the national team and to help the beat get back to the Founders Cup. And it's made a difference down the stretch, as you alluded to. Tommy Stone gives her a lot of credit for the defensive turnaround of this Atlanta beat team over the final third of the season. This has been the best bunch in the WUSA, the stingiest defense. Brian is, is all over the field, Beth. I mean, here she is as a midfielder being the first one through in a ball over the top, challenging Brianna Scurry. Scurry, when we talked to her yesterday, she said climbing the mountain has been uh, much more enjoyable for her this year. I'm trying to climb back up that mountain and get on top of the, of the mountain again, and uh, it's been a great journey for me. You know, I really appreciate it a lot more now. Um, realizing that I'm climbing up, whereas before I was pretty much plucked out of the valley and stuck on top of the mountain. Um, and now I'm actually having to do the climb myself, and so it's been really rewarding. Well, she can get there, Beth. She has every tool. Of course, all of us uh, feel she shouldn't have left the mountain, uh, but she let her fitness get away with, uh, with it, and uh, now she's got to fight her way back in. She is up for Goalkeeper of the Year nominations, as is her counterpart today. Kristen Luckenbill in goal for Carolina. Kristen's day has been quiet for the most part here through the first 18 minutes. And you could hear Tommy Stone telling his team to relax what you were alluding to, Anson, for these two to settle down. Well, here's the key ball right here. Bivens has to go forward with this. Get it forward. Now she goes back, and the whole initiative of that flank attack was nullified because she felt uh, insecure about trying to figure out a way to get that ball forward. Cooper, who has very few insecurities, if any, with the ball. Charmaine Hooper plays it back. Sawa lets it rip hard off of Tiffany Roberts. 
Tiffany Roberts right now is wondering where her sternum went. Kraskowski looking for Polo, and Cindy called for the push-off. Wow, I hope Roberts didn't swallow our microphone on that one. She took it right upstairs. Uh-oh. Where is the mic? This is extraordinary by Charmaine. She's obviously surrounded. Look at this. Right through Venus James. Dipsy Doodle dancing and still has possession. Lays a perfect ball back for Sauer, who has cracked it right into TR. Go, Shaw! Tiffany Roberts looks fully recovered, though. The kid is nailed. She tells a story about uh, when she was a kid, her older brothers would put her in a hockey uniform and shoot <laughs> pucks at her, so this for her was nothing. Prince Augustiniak watching her closely. Prince battling. Gets by one defender. Beard the cross off of Nonin. Can you believe that? A girl of that size just going down the sideline. Unbelievable. Look at this in action. She's playing against an excellent defender in Augustiniak. A piece of it there. Holds it, holds it. Pushes her back into her. Accelerates around her. Knocks it past another defender. Tries to find the seam. And that girl is almost six foot. <laughs> Tremendous agility. And now Risa with the corner, looking far post, but Tapu is trying to run on. Nonan right there with her. Well, don't miss WUSA's Founders Cup 2 championship game Saturday, August 24th at 4 Eastern at Herndon Stadium in downtown Atlanta. For more information about tickets, call 1-877-SOCCER-1 or log on to WUSA.com. If you can't be there, be sure to catch the game live right here on PAX TV. WUSA Founders Cup 2, presented by McDonald's. The cup stops here. Tom Stone, oh. the head coach for the Atlanta Beat, now uh, with the headset on. Tommy, we've been hearing you tell your team to relax a little bit. Uh, are they feeling a lot of emotions here early on? You need them to settle down? Yeah, I mean, no doubt Carolina came out and played like the regular season champions from minute one, and I think we contributed to the chaos by constantly giving the ball away. I mean, with easy passes to make, we just handed it to them, and Hooper and Parlo had a hard time holding on to the ball, and that's really put us under the gun here. If we can just weather a little bit, get a little rhythm as we come out, I think we'll, uh, we'll survive this onslaught, but for now, we got to get a hold of the ball. Tommy, you're right, it's frantic, it's interesting. You're getting the ball into Bivens, but she's not going forward with it, she's cutting back. If she changes it, I think uh, things can happen. What do you think? There's no doubt, Kylie's been a little timid, and, and Ping has tried to play combinations instead of getting it forward into Cindy. Even our back line has been a little bit standoffish, and you know, Carolina's such a good attacking team that you can't just defend for nine minutes, which was never our game plan anyway, so we gotta be a little more assertive. All right, Tom, thank you very much. My head coach for the Atlanta Beat. We are scoreless here in the 23rd minute. Carolina, however, has controlled much of the run of the play. Back to Luckinville. Baxter, Teresa. Patopoulos on the run onto it into space. Kraskowski gets there first. There's a look at Kraskowski's speed. Patopoulos is one of the faster strikers in the league, and Lisa just took off, had no trouble winning that sprint. Kraskowski has started the last seven games after returning from the broken arm she suffered in May. Prince plays it back to Burt. Burt. Looking for Patopoulos for a post. Just a little bit too much on that. Let's listen in now. Some of the thoughts from Tiffany Roberts. Factor, factor. Okay, slide, slide, slide. Directing traffic, wearing that captain's armband. She's taken on added responsibilities this year. At the request of Marsha McDermott. Good team tackle there between uh, Venus James and Tiffany Roberts to stop Parlo trying to knife through. Now Parlo. 
Waiting for some help, looking for Sawa, but goes right to Venus James. Great example of controlling pressure from behind, drawing the foul from Bivens, Hegarisa, showing her experience. Marsha McDermott says that Risa just has an understanding of what it takes to win and then goes out and does it. Has been so instrumental to their success this year. Handed out by Kruskowski. Instead of us telling you about Hege, how about one of her teammates? Here's what TR thinks about Risa, unsurpassed in the WUSA. Hege Risa is my MVP. She is the best player in the world in my eyes. And I know having the opportunity to play with her in the middle, she gives me a lot of confidence. And, you know, I get wowed by her just watching her. I'll step back sometimes and just the little moves that she makes. She's so creative. Of course, Beth, this is from... The woman that marked her out of the game when the U.S. advanced against Norway. James just misses wide. To win their gold medal in the first uh, women's soccer appearance in the Olympics. Back in Atlanta in 96. There's Venus James. We saw her earlier this year on pack scoring twice in a win at Washington. Great strike by Venus James. Look at this from behind the goal. Gosh, Diana Scurry was scrambling over there. Fortunately for Atlanta, it was wide, and that was a look from our clear view by AccuView. 26 minutes. Dominated thus far by Carolina, but Atlanta holding them off the scoreboard. Nikki Sherlinga. Perhaps the most improved player in the WUSA this year. Looking for Parlo against Puerto City. Parlo tried to cross it in front. Sneaky. Getting behind the defense. It looks like uh, Danielle Fotopoulos misjudged that one on her jump. Cindy ran onto it. Tried to draw it back. WUSA. You see this from behind the goal. Carolina Courage misjudged it. Cindy cleans it up, tries to find a seam in there. Blocked by Nell Fetting. Sir Lenga to take the corner. In front. Goes all the way through. And Atlanta. Has Atlanta been awarded a PK? I believe Atlanta has just been awarded a penalty kick. Contact in the area. Watching this in the box. Yeah, clearly Danielle Patopoulos with her left forearm shoves Cindy Parla to the ground. The referee caught it, was awarded a penalty. Nikki Serlenga. Up against Luckenbill. Atlanta's got the one nothing lead. Serlinga strikes first for Atlanta on the penalty kick. It's interesting, usually. If a referee doesn't call an early penalty kick chance, they're not going to call a later one. And you can see again, Danielle Fotopoulos clearly shoving. Serlinga, great strike. A look and go guessed right, but not quick enough to get out there. The blast from Serlinga. Nikki's fourth goal of the season. And uh, we have a, uh, an official's timeout down on the field. There uh, have been some lightning strikes in the area. We have seen some of them off in the distance. So the game right now under a weather delay. Beth, from here I could see that lightning bolt. In fact, it's in the same area. 
It's uh, the corner flag where the uh, Carolina Courage is defending on the side of the goal that uh, Nikki Serlinga stuck her penalty kick in. We're seeing uh, some lightning come from that area. So a weather delay here in Cary, North Carolina. Atlanta scoring on the Serlinga penalty kick with the one nothing lead. And uh, we'll be back to Sass Soccer Park in just a moment. contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's AccuView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. The secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 Colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. I'm your leader. Only Venus from Gillette gives you smoothness that makes you feel like a goddess. Each shower safe refill has soft cushions that surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother, longer, which all goddesses deserve. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. Now indulge yourself with new Satin Care Shave Gel from Gillette. Back at Cary, North Carolina, Sass Soccer Park, a weather delay in our second semifinal. Atlanta, a penalty kick from Nikki Serlinga with the one nothing lead. And remember, last year, Atlanta got a PK en route to their victory over Philadelphia in overtime, 3-2. to two. It was Soon Wen who hit a PK in the semis last year for Atlanta. And uh, now, on replay, uh, Anson able to see undoubtedly that Fotopoulos did give Cindy Parlow a push there uh, in the penalty area. And the surprise for me isn't so much that that was called. It was, well, if you're not going to call the first one, why are you calling this one? Yep. Usually it's almost like an insurance policy. If the referee doesn't call a chance in the one penalty mm -hmm. box, they're not going to call a similar chance in the other. And I'll tell you, they were similar shoves. Yep. I mean, uh, I think Cindy did kind of exaggerate it a bit because I don't think it's hard to shove Cindy that far. And Hega, of course, is the master of diving. But I do think she was hit from behind. So the issue is, you know, why not call the first yeah. one if you're going to call the second one? So we can look at this. I mean, let's have everyone study this. Here's Risa. It looks like she's being shoved from behind. Uh, again, with uh, it looks like the left elbow of Nonan. And uh, here is, uh, looks like the same arm. Look at this from Fotopoulos. You'll see her catching up. And look at her shove right here in the back as Cindy goes flying. Uh, now it does look like Daniel shoved harder. Serlinga, great, clean strike. And of course, as we were talking about earlier, Beth, uh, Nikki's been one of the keys here in this stretch for the revival of Atlanta. We talked about two of the significance, especially in the playoffs, not necessarily to control the run of the play as Carolina has done throughout this half, but to have the personalities that when you do get that one opportunity, you jump on it, and Atlanta did that. Well, you know, what Nikki's up to now, that strike is up for goal of the year in my yep. book, that one from, what, from 30 yards week. out, yep. upper corner? And now this is a critical uh, strike for her to bury the penalty. So Nikki's been uh, critical for their success in this run. All right, one nothing Atlanta, a weather delay here in Cary, North Carolina. The winner of this one will face Washington. The Freedom getting a Monica Gerardo goal in the 80th minute as the three seed knocks out the, the uh, two seed, one nothing up in Philadelphia. Uh, so the Freedom move on. Um, Siri Mullenix was the player of the game, was outstanding once again uh, in goal for the Freedom. I believe now 10-1-2, their record since Mia's return. Well, and they 
despite Mullinex and Ham, I think the one that created that chance was Jackie Little. Yep. What a great balance in the box to stay on balance. Iverson tried to slide her. She stays on balance, finds the seam in the box. Gerardo is there and buries it. So there are a lot of other pieces to that uh, success run uh, other than Mullinex's performance and Mia's emergence. So uh, let's give credit to Jackie in that yep. situation. And certainly Monica Gerardo, who hasn't had a lot of the, the similar kind of press, but still now they're in the final because of them. And now Jackie Little, who won a ring last year with San Jose, has a chance to get two of them uh, going to Washington in the offseason and now helping the Freedom get into the championship. Washington and Carolina finishing tied for last in the inaugural season of the WUSA and if the courage can change fortunes here in this matchup we could see two teams go from last in the league into the Founders Cup but right now Atlanta's got a big say as they have the one nothing lead we are experiencing a weather delay here in Cary North Carolina the skies have become overcast we have seen lightning in the area and that is the reason for the delay right now Nikki Serlinga's penalty kick the difference here in the first half weather delay in the 28th minute and we'll be back to North Carolina in just a moment. Who is the only one that pampers you with a few extra minutes of sleep by preparing a good breakfast for you? It's just the same old saying. I, I need adventure, excitement. I'm suffocating. Okay. You can drive. Spice things up. The Hyundai Santa Fe, V6 power, full-time four-wheel drive, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan, the Santa Fe. Don't even think about it. makes it easy to feel as smooth as a goddess. Its three-blade refills are shower safe and simple to change. They're where you need them, when you need them. So the closest shave and smoothness that lasts is within the reach of every goddess. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. And now get that lasting smoothness with new crystal clear Venus. Let's do this. Frozen turkey. No kid. What do you call the only side-by-side -side that's wider on both sides? The wide-by-side. Possibly the most versatile refrigerator in the whole wide world. Allow me. The wide-by-side. Another dependable idea. You need help to your car with that? Only from Maytag. 1-0 Atlanta here in Cary, North Carolina. A weather delay in the 29th minute. Nikki Serlinga with a penalty kick. The difference right now. Let's send you to Villanova, Pennsylvania. Dave Johnson, Wendy Gabauer, Paladino. They've got a recap of Game 1, Washington's win over Philadelphia. Dave Johnson, Wendy Gabauer, Paladino. Back here in uh, Philadelphia. It sounds like they've already had an uh, event-filled uh, uh, game so far in Carolina with now the the weather delay, but certainly we had an event-filled game here in uh, Philadelphia. No weather delays, but plenty of action. But only one goal. It was in the 80th minute. Uh, Monica Gerardo uh, getting that goal. As we take a look back at the highlights from that one, it really was a, a team effort on this uh, goal. And it was, absolutely. And two players off the bench, Jackie Little finds Monica Gerardo, who gets in the right place at the right time at the top of the box. Look at this composure by Jackie Little. Great ball into the seam. Melissa Moore doesn't have an answer, and it's 1-0. Again, Monica Gerardo, as you mentioned, uh, coming off the bench. Jackie Little coming off the bench. So the super subs uh, for the Washington Freedom, if you will, getting the job done this afternoon. Yes, 
Indeed, Mia Hamm also came off the bench and, and played a role in the second half of the Washington Freedom. But defense also, so much of the story this afternoon uh, for the uh, Washington Freedom and, and really a, a team defensive effort for this uh, Washington Freedom, including Kerry Moore and Marinette Pichon. Kerry Moore shadowed Pichon all game long, and what a great responsibility, or a huge responsibility, and she handled it well. She's a great man marker, and I think she just provided the pressure enough pressure on Pashan where Pashan didn't have an answer and she was frustrated we saw her battling with the refs a little bit arguing some calls and when you get a player to that position you know you frustrated him and of course in goal Siri Mullenix she really is getting back on her form and she showed it again today uh, in this uh, playoff game as she was indeed challenged well Siri Mullenix had a great game in the net and she was huge not only making saves on crosses on shots on on uh, corner kicks but she always had the answer. Every single time, ball's coming at her, and she's there at the right spot. She's also done a great job today of organizing her defense. Her confidence behind that defense has been huge for the Washington Freedom. And it's a much different story for the Freedom, who had a history, of course, uh, of defensive stumbles. But they really have unified as a defensive unit. And also, Steffi Jones in the defensive midfield for Washington, I think, has also made a difference for this team. And I think Steffi Jones' arrival, you know, she was motivated to come here and try and take Washington from the seventh-place spot to the Founders Cup, and she's done that. She's been a great anchor for, for the Freedom Defense. So Washington is on to the uh, Founders Cup with a one nothing win over the Philadelphia Charge on this WUSA Soccer Saturday. There is more on the way. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your Only Venus from Gillette gives you smoothness that makes you feel like a goddess. Each shower safe refill has soft cushions that surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother, longer, which all goddesses deserve. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. Now indulge yourself with new Satin Care Shave Gel from Gillette. We could all use a little help. <laughs> Daddy's funny. Soccer's where I met Tracy. I met I Felix. Met we all play together. We have fun together. He's the coolest. My nickname is Bigfoot. Goalie Queen. They call me Bulldog because I'm really aggressive. Soccer makes me feel pumped up. It gets you stronger. It makes me feel great. goals and no time for injuries that's why the wusa chose health south as its official health care provider for sports medicine diagnostics and outpatient surgical services to find out more about the medicine behind the game log on to healthsouth.com slash wusa you'll get the latest soccer health information and tips from the professionals that keep the players on the field health south the people who know Back in Philadelphia, the final of the first semifinal, Washington is in the Founders Cup, too. A one nothing win over the Philadelphia Charge. Dave Johnson back with uh, Wendy Gebauer, Palladino. Indeed, Washington Freedom on their way to Atlanta for Founders Cup, too. But this Philadelphia Charge team, you know, Wendy, they wanted it so badly. So close to making it last year. They had such a, a great season. And even today, they played well, but they could not, could not find a way to score. Well, I felt like for the majority of the game, actually, they had a great possession going, and they, uh, they really possessed the ball well. They, they did a great job on the defense and in the midfield possessing the ball. They were very calm, but it wasn't until the second half that I felt like they had some composure up top, mostly by the play of Mandy Clemens. Uh, you know, but they just couldn't get it done, and um, 
one goal game is not enough in a lot of cases, and you can also have a lot of the play, and it really doesn't matter unless you stick the ball in the back of the net. Yeah, yeah. in fact, a, a season-high 10 corner kicks, another example of the possession that, that Philadelphia had in this one, yet it still could not pinch it. We just saw a shot of a dejected to Marinette Pichon, indeed a great defensive effort uh, for the Washington Freedom this afternoon. Now, uh, let's take a look at the brackets. The brackets, and we'll take a uh, more coming in just a moment on WUSA on PAX. Imagine a color contact lens that combines the science of vision and the art of color. It's AccuView 2 Colors brand. Now you can look your best with colors that are vivid yet natural. The secrets in the color enhancing layer. And even if you don't need vision correction, discover the incredible comfort of AccuView 2 Colors from the number one doctor prescribed brand. AccuView, advancing the science of sight. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your Only Venus from Gillette gives you smoothness that makes you feel like a goddess. Each shower safe refill has soft cushions that surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother, longer, which all goddesses deserve. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. Now indulge yourself with new Satin Care Shave Gel from Gillette. joy to your life? It can if it has a powerful V6, plenty of room for five, and the freedom of America's best warranty plan. The Sonata from Hyundai. Life is better with one. Back in Cary, North Carolina, a weather delay here in the 29th minute of the first half. Uh, Atlanta with the one nothing lead over Carolina thanks to a Nikki Sherlinga penalty kick. And uh, Tiffany Roberts, a midfielder for the Carolina Courage, wearing the microphone for us uh, today. And uh, let's listen in now some of her thoughts on what things were going on in the first half for the Courage. <laughs> You guys ready? You guys feel good? Yeah? Sherlinga's PK, the difference right now. Sun is back out. Uh, the clouds have moved on. We hope to be starting up again here momentarily. But in the meantime, we have seen some terrific action all summer long at the WUSA on PAX. Here are some of the highlights. The plays of the year from year two.
knocks it in, Miss Curry makes the save. Now, close to the cross, Prince the head of the goal! All big and Prince two for two tonight. Milburn steals it away from Drum, trying to make the tackle. Pierman running through, and she gets by. Pierman, the shot, the goal! Up to back, Euclid, through to Lilly, Lilly! Some of the best of the year right now, Marsha McDermott and her coaching staff trying to figure out how to rally from the one nothing deficit to Atlanta here in the semis. When we come back, more from semifinal one in Philly. I'm your Venus, I'm your fire, your Only Venus from Gillette gives you smoothness that makes you feel like a goddess. Each shower safe refill has soft cushions that surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. So close, your skin stays smoother, longer, which all goddesses deserve. Venus, reveal the goddess in you. Now indulge yourself with new Satin Care Shave Gel from Gillette. We could all use a little help. <laughs> Daddy's funny. Stuck is where I met Tracy. I met I Felix. Met we all play together. We have fun together. He's the coolest. My nickname is Bigfoot. Goalie Queen. They call me Bulldog because I'm really aggressive. Soccer makes me feel pumped up. It gets you stronger. It makes me feel great. No easy goals and no time for injuries. That's why the WUSA chose Health South as its official health care provider for sports medicine, diagnostics, and outpatient surgical services. To find out more about the medicine behind the game, log on to healthsouth.com slash WUSA. You'll get the latest soccer health information and tips from the professionals that keep the players on the field. Health South, the people who know. Hey, Johnson, Whitney Gabauer, Paladino, back in Philadelphia. It continues to be a weather delay in Cary, uh, North Carolina, at SAS Stadium, the site of the Carolina Courage. Atlanta beat this semifinal, which we understand is already 1-0 Atlanta, so it's been an event-filled day of WUSA soccer here on uh, PAX. Now, indeed, here in Philadelphia, we saw a, a nerve-jangling 1-0 game, and uh, as we talked about, so much has, has been the improved defense uh, of the Washington Freedom, but also uh, Siri Mullenix's story this year, when you consider she missed the first few games of shoulder surgery, hurt her hand, a lot of doubts about her this year, but uh, true to form, she came through at the end of the season and now in the playoffs. She's such a phenomenal player and she's such a great leader. I, you know, I knew that she would come back as soon as she got over those injuries and she's come back with a vengeance, really leading this uh, Washington Freedom defense in the nets. She's playing phenomenally. All right, in fact, earlier we had a chance to talk to uh, Siri Mullenix and uh, get some of her thoughts after this 1-0 win. 1-0 the final this afternoon. Big reason why the play of Siri Mullenix in goal. Siri, I'll tell you what, you look like you're on the top of your game. Talk about Carrie Moore in front of you. Thanks, Wendy. Um, Carrie Moore has been a tremendous player. She was a player that last year I was telling Jim, Jim, we got to get this player in. We got to get this player in. She has a lot to offer. And this, in this season, she's given us everything she has. We've put her against every top player on every team, and she shut them down. And she shut down pitch on tonight and did it about two weeks ago. I mean, she's a tremendous player. And, and Siri, as much as they've talked about the Washington D, uh, offense, uh, really, it, it's been a team defense turnaround this season. It has. Our defense from last year to this year is completely different. We made a couple adjustments by moving Jen Grubb from the midfield back to the defense. We put um, 
carry more in full time and just, they're just playing all they're playing together they're playing on the same level and they're playing on the same line which is what we struggled with last year all right this Siri Mullinex goalkeeper for the Washington Freedom best of luck uh, next week in Atlanta against the winner of the Carolina Atlanta game yep thank you all right Siri Mullinex happy of course to be going to Founders Cup 2 uh, in Atlanta and that of course uh, really a, a big part of, of the story the, the defensive play uh, of the Washington Freedom this year and how they were able to turn it around. You know, the, the one thing about this format, Wendy, and I think we saw it this afternoon, the format, uh, one game and, and you're out, one game and you're on, depending on your perspective, uh, it puts so much pressure, so much intensity, and we certainly we, we saw that in this match this afternoon. This was an intense match between Washington and Philadelphia. It absolutely was, and, and we talked about uh, the defense for Washington Freedom. You think about the defenders, but really the defense... Uh, started up top with some of the rough play of Abby Wambach, for example. Uh, she was just playing physically all over the field, and I really think that made a difference for this Washington Freedom team. All right, you talk about some of that hard play. Let's take a look at uh, some of the physical play from this afternoon's match between Washington and Philadelphia. Indeed, as you mentioned, well, everybody's got to get involved in the defense. In this case, Abby Wambach attacking. And for Lori Fair, we had their mics, and indeed, she had some thoughts. That one, that one's a card. For sure. Twice the size of her. Well, Lori Fair campaigning for a card. Actually, on that occasion, Abby Wambach did not get a card, although they, she did get a yellow card a little bit uh, later on. But it, it's a case where, uh, in a game like this, you're going to go for every chance, and uh, Abby Wambach was not slowing up. Well, and like you said, you know, it's one game you're in, one game you're out. Uh, they didn't have another chance, and, and Washington Freedom found a, found a way to win, unfortunately, for Philadelphia, who I felt really put a great effort on the field had a lot of the possession just couldn't find the back of the net all right uh, now indeed we're talking about the road the founders uh, cup two in atlanta next saturday washington is already on that road in fact after the game they were talking about how many busloads are going to take to atlanta because they brought about four or seven busloads i think actually up here to philadelphia they advanced with a one nothing win over philadelphia the atlanta carolina game of course going on in Cary, north carolina well not really going on there's a weather delay but they did start it Atlanta on top, uh, one nothing. But again, ticket information one eight seven seven soccer one for Founders Cup two. Ticket information one eight seven seven soccer one for Founders Cup two. All right, we're coming back with more as we continue our coverage on WUSA on Pax this Soccer Saturday. Washington did beat Philadelphia one nothing. from Gillette gives you smoothness that makes you feel like a goddess. Each shower safe refill has soft cushions that surround three blades for the closest shave ever in just one stroke. Mobile looked up at us, 